Techland has updated Prison Heist. Now you can get the Guru Reward very easily on Solo. And I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. But it's like I said, it's very easy. Plus you get three minutes in the reward room now. And that gives you enough time to open all the boxes. And you can take everything with you. You can even reload your weapons. Now with this update, obviously you don't have to go through as fast as you can, but um, if you're gonna be farming gold weapons or at the most fantasy weapons, you wanna go through as fast as you can, but do what I'm doing on screen here. I have uh, the uh, Cry Dagger, that dagger from uh, one of the other drops that makes you run faster. I'm also using 900 boosters and the same weapons as I showed you in the last video and I also have cloak and all that good stuff but like I said you don't need any of this you could clear out all the rooms not just the human room that you absolutely have to clear out but anyways now that we're in this human room you want to make sure your 900 boosters activated because we're on nightmare still and by the way these new changes I only know for sure are for nightmare I'm sure it's for normal too but the times are gonna be different Anyways, you just want to go ahead and clear out this room um, as easily as you can. I always go from the top to bottom now. I didn't exactly do it this time, but that way I don't have to go, you know, to the third deck, to the first deck, all over the place because the humans move around a lot and it can be a little bit of a bitch to follow them around or find them at least. And this zombie, if you don't take care of him earlier, you're going to have to kill him too. Just a little side note. And see, that's why I start from the top and work my way to the bottom. Much easier. And also, on solo, it seems like a human always spawns on this deck for some reason. But run right past this bomber. You don't have to do anything with him. And one thing about the Kawhi Dagger, um, there's a lot of objects with, you know, collusion barriers. And going so fast with the 900 Booster and the Kawhi Dagger combo, you're going to be running into a lot of objects, and it can be rage-inducing. Like, I raged a lot when I was trying to do this fast, but you don't have to do that anymore. Go against this wall here like I did, and that goon can't hit you, by the way. Anyways, I went ahead and used Cloak to lockpick this part just because you don't have to deal with the goon or any of the virals behind you. But if you are using the Cloak, you got to be quick. Like I said, camouflage works too. It might be a little more difficult to, you know, get the camouflage. But, like I said, it lasts longer and, you know, a lot of people don't lockpick as fast as me. I've had plenty of practice with Skyrim and stuff. Anyways, now we're coming up to the volatile room. This is the hardest room to get through if you're not using my tactic anyways. And that is using the combination of cloak or camouflage and flares. You want to use flares just so that the volatiles can't hit you. However, if you throw the flare against the door like I did right there, they will hit you and interrupt your lock picking, which can be a pain in the ass. So I suggest that you throw it, you know, three or five feet away from the door. Um, hopefully you can lock pick it in time before your camouflage wears off. And you also want to use that camouflage last second too, just so it doesn't wear off while you're doing that because the virals will attack you. The player doesn't stop them. Now we're at the end. So I'm making good time here. Um, of course, before this update, and I don't know if the update is actually permanent or not. Um, this time wouldn't be good because on solo, usually you only get Guru before the four minute mark, which is insane and impossible. I only had one guy say that he did, and I don't know how he, you know, got Guru on solo before this update. But yeah, shotgun, the semi-automatic shotgun, I like to use at this part just because you can instantly kill everything, including the demolishers. Now, one thing about this part, if you want to get through it faster, I suggest you go to the northwestern corner, and they're going to be spawning from on top of the wall. Um, I don't do that here just because, I don't know, I was trying to go as fast as I can, but no matter. Here comes Sergeant Death Row, that's his name, I didn't realize. And of course there's Straggler, see, coming from that corner I told you about. And he's still not dead, of course. Weird. 
Anywho, Sergeant Death Row is now gonna bust through here. You wanna take care of him as quick as you can. And don't stand as close as I was, obviously. You're gonna stand a little further back, but close enough to where the shotgun will kill him. Nice and fast. For this part to get through a quicker, you're going to want to grapple up to these little towers. The zombies are coming out of those little towers and any zombies that were jumping down before are going to be jumping back up there so you don't have to worry about the guys on the ground level. So just wipe out all these zombies. You don't have to be using the shotgun. I believe I actually run out of ammo and I start using the machete. I suggest using the machete even on Nightmare. It does pretty good as long as you're swinging the machete at neck level, you know. Just look right at their heads or even a little bit above their heads. No problem. On normal, of course, you're going to be insta-killing everything anyways. And since before the update, there was a penalty for playing on an easier difficulty. Um, I'm guessing that is the case still, but it's kind of ridiculous how much easier they made it. I'll show you that in a second, but I'm just wiping out the rest of these zombies, um, taking care of the stragglers, and that's it basically. That was a pretty good time. I think that was my best time at 540, but I was actually pretty surprised to see Guru pop up. Right here I tried it at 10 minutes or past 10 minutes still got the guru reward on solo then i tried it at 11 minutes still got it and this is what i mean by it's kind of ridiculous here i am completing it at 13 minutes and i still get the guru reward which is insane to me i went ahead and tried it at 15 minutes didn't want to go over to 16 just in case but i still got the guru reward it is insane how much i had to waste time uh, before getting to the rewards room and in the rewards room of course and I really like this change they give you enough time to pick up ammo which is very much needed for the next run and here's me picking up all these weapons here's all the fantasy weapons and also these chests will spawn nothing but kings as long as you get the goo reward anyways now here's me finding normal weapons that aren't fantasy and I believe that you actually find more normal weapons um, the longer the time drags out because I found most of those when I opened the chests at the or got the guru reward at the 15 minute mark instead of the 5 minute mark which I did last time and it gave me nothing but fantasy weapons that time so the longer time drags out the more normal weapons are going to spawn the chest. That's just a theory of mine. I've tested this only like five or six, seven times, so I don't know. Hopefully you guys can tell me what's really going on in the comments. But that's it, guys. I hope this video helps. I hope you found it informative. And as always, I will see you in the next video.